Hi guys, so today's video is a, another voiceover and it's a lesson with uh, Miss Amy. Oh my god, it's such a dirty hairbrush. <laughs> I'll just keep that in, we'll ignore that for it didn't happen. Uh, and it's a lesson with Amy here. So anyone that doesn't know, uh, look back one or two videos, something like that, um, with a Copa Equestrian photo shoot. Amy was there uh, modelling some leggings and a lovely t-shirt. Um, but today I was on Merino, Amy Lone's little buckaroo. Uh, <laughs> or so, what, what was the word I'm looking for? More uh, commonly known as Rue. Yeah. Um, but yeah, well, this is our first joint lesson. We're not really, neither of us are really professional riders. And this was a bit of a... A fun lesson, uh, just with some poses and everything. So uh, we're going to do a little voiceover, and it'll be like a joint voiceover. It'll be like yeah. the Chuckle Brothers. Um, <laughs> I'm Barry, you're Paul. Beep. <laughs> <laughs> Me. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, we're like we might bleep that out or something. I don't know. <laughs> that might be edited out. I'm not sure. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so we'll do a little voiceover, and uh, we'll see you at the end of the video for the outro. <laughs> So we're just doing our little warm up. Oh my god, the cough is straight away. Um, the cough has been in one of my other videos, our routine coughs. Um, and there's Amy and Rue coming, <laughs> coming around hot. Um, but we're just like stretching them down and like getting them to work through their backs and everything before they started actually working hard. Is this when we were doing, she wanted us to do the slowest trot that we could manage? Yeah, the slowest trot round like the top half, was it the top half of the circle? Yeah, and then speed up. Yeah, and then like <laughs> pick so, up the pace. That's <laughs> an insanely slow drop from Buckaroo. <laughs> Rue's, uh, Rue's party trick is how slow we can draw. Um, she was also getting us to go from like trot to halt, and then uh, from, I don't know if we would go to walk or to trot, but like to get them really sharp off the leg, like really responsive, uh, because Marino had issues with this in the past. <laughs> what was Marino's issues? Um, he just like he was just not dead to the leg, but it would take like a good few kicks to get oh, him really? really going. Yeah. Well, that was just really exactly. She, she was like, "How's the trot feeling, guys?" And I was like, "Rue feels a bit dead." <laughs> <laughs> so it's just the, the solution to this: just just get them trotting slowly <laughs> and then fastly, and then slowly and then fastly. You can see me doing my circles because uh, Marino apparently had it in his head that this was a game of TSEs, and the whole mission of this was just to catch up with Rue, which was <laughs> definitely not the point. So just a lot of work on transitions here, just to get them warmed up. And it definitely helps with Merino. Does that worry? Yeah, yeah, a hundred percent. That's like, like, see if I don't do that, like if I just snot in my head to do it, it's like never as good of a ride because he's just like not off the leg. But like, I think that's definitely something that will come away from this lesson, like knowing, mm -hmm. okay, now in our warm ups we should definitely incorporate more. Because I would usually, I would do quite a lot of um, trot to walk transitions, but I'm not, I don't really do a lot of um, trot to halt and everything. But I know I need to do that more because it really helps Merino warm up anyway. Yeah. Poles are also such a thing that I don't utilise enough. <laughs> like, they're really fun. <laughs> and now that we have these little cups to raise them and all. We were saying um, this lesson we just wanted to do something a bit more fun. Uh, because, well, I Merino's been working really hard in his dressage recently. And the weather's been a bit rubbish. So we're just, mm. while we can, we may as well go out and do something fun. And I think... The, like Rue and Marina were so different if we tried to pick like jumping Rue would do better or if we did a dress size lesson mm. then Marina would do better yeah but this I think but this, is this they're, equal, they're equally as bad <laughs> <laughs> at poles <laughs> <laughs> yes poles are at neither pony strong point really I don't think <laughs> they but, both had such a hard time like figuring out like when to pick up camp with a pole <laughs> like, <laughs> but this one I think we're just trotting we're only trotting over the two of them um, Marino, you can see he's starting to soften a little bit now. He had his head like an absolute draft in that first clip. Um, you can tell he's like, he, his issue is that he speeds up and tries to run at pose. Mm. So then I try and half halt him and bring him back, and then I completely lose the impulsion and the pose go flying. <laughs> <laughs> Which isn't great. Flying and doing another one. Trying to steal <laughs> So I think this one is just getting them to work over the pose and actually lift their feet. Yeah. And then you can tell in that, oh yeah, this is another uh, fast and slow trot one. And there's Marino trying oh, to stop yeah, again. Oh yeah, this is the one where, yeah, Claire was like, fast, 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 and like making us go proper fast. Or was this the half sitting trot, was it? Oh yeah, this is half in like a steady sitting trot, which yeah, I yeah. am shocking at. My sitting trot's so bad. It's your wee ponytail bouncing. <laughs> <laughs> My wee short hard ponytail. <laughs> um, and then the second half, 
we were speeding up a bit, but we're doing it in opposite half. So your quick half was my slow half. Oh yeah, I didn't even realize <laughs> that. <laughs> that was unintentional. <laughs> <laughs> There's actually like little carousel horses just going around in circles. I know. <laughs> I they both look like carousel horses. As well. I know. <laughs> Pretty wee horn on Reno. <laughs> so we're just doing a little change of rain. Itchy nose there for me. A uh, little change of rain. I think this is both their worst rains. Yeah, for bending, Rue just can't bend this way. <laughs> yeah, Marino struggles to bend this way as well. But you can kind of tell, like, this is uh, my time to shine apart. Yeah, I'm standing <laughs> in the dress last night, I don't know why. <laughs> like, I should have been I should have been doing it. <laughs> oh, here I go. <laughs> We're uh, deconstructing the dress last night, because I think I ran into it at some point. Yeah, I think, yeah, I think you, like, got stuck in it. <laughs> Classic. <laughs> So uh, deconstructing that so I don't end up breaking something. <laughs> so <laughs> trotting around in circles, you can tell look how nice he's going there. Yeah. Marino's really starting to soften. He's getting a lot more like willing with his trot. Um and he's starting to pick up his feet with a pose. You can tell they're both getting used to it now. My sitting trot still isn't there though. It's still not getting any better. I haven't even seen my sitting trot yet. I think because it was my dad videoing, so I think most of the camera is like in a circle though. Oh, there we go. (laughs) There I am. (laughs) Sitting trot. I think Rue knocked that Ray's pole down as well. By the way, so don't blame me. No, that that was you. Never mind, blame me. It was me. Sorry. (laughs) I don't know what he does it, but Rue literally could kick it with all four feet, and somehow it never really falls down. I don't know why, because he's really heavy. (laughs) Marino knocks a lot of Ray's poles. He's really bad for it in walk. Walk is definitely his worst one. And then here we're just letting them have a wee break. He's, he's snatching the reins. <laughs> he's like stretchy down. Rue was very keen for that break. <laughs> oh, he loves a good stretch. He would he would, he would, would walk about with his nose in the floor all 24-7 if he could. I wish Marino was the same. I have the complete opposite issue. <laughs> but here I think we're just... What am I what doing What are we doing here? here? <laughs> we don't oh, know. we're going for a canter. And then we're going to canter down over one of the poles. Oh, is that this already? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it is. Well, we'll find out. Yeah, <laughs> it's canter. Yeah. <laughs> you can tell Marino, if anyone's watched any of my older videos, I used to have a really hard time with his canter transition. But, and you can tell he's really taken me into that pole. Mm. But, um. <laughs> oh, he's tried. Yeah, our strides aren't really the best into it, but he just gets so strong. And then I try and half halt him, and he just says no. Do you correct his stride, or does he do it himself? Um, I try and correct it. If I don't, he will either send the pole flying or mm. take off a full stride early. Right. So Amy's now going and I'm just circling to let Marino chill out and stop going nuts at the bottom of the arena. Bruce like a wee pee. Like, <laughs> <laughs> compared to Marino, like you see him coming because he's so bright and white and he's bigger and then Bruce just <laughs> sweet pee. For comparison, Marino's 15 too. What height's Rue? 14 one. So they're not that. And I'm also different. the taller rider as well. So, <laughs> which is, so you're short and you have the big horse and I'm small. And, or no, wait, what? <laughs> I'm short with a big horse and you're... I'm tall with a short horse. <laughs> yeah. To be fair, it wouldn't be that hard to be taller than me, really. I'm not exactly a giant. But um, here, they're, like, Ring is really stretching really well in that, actually. I'm impressed with that. I think, damn. <laughs> After that chiropractor visit, he's really utilising any stretch he can That's get. Good. He's doing really well with it. Um, here, I think we're going for another chop. You can tell he was really like he was running away, away there. there. <laughs> yeah, he was he was going. Yeah. Also, at a point during this lesson, a horse starts getting lunged and going a little bit nuts, and Marino's mind just couldn't comprehend it, and he just the focus just completely left, and he was just really concerned about what this other horse was doing. So here we're trying to get into this again. This one where I mess up the stride. I don't know. I think it Let's might find be. out. Oh no, oh, well, he yeah. He changed his leg on love <laughs> So this was, the aim of this exercise, I was meant to go over that pole and then come across the diagonal and do a flying change. But I ended up doing the flying change over the pole by accident. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't actually think I got the right flying change. So I don't know how I managed that. Yeah, but... he like changed onto the wrong leg. <laughs> yeah. He's just like, let's do counter canter now. He's got a very good counter canter though. He's very well balanced and everything. That's so good. maybe he just, maybe that's just why he likes it so much. Yeah. But another nice sharpish transition from a very alert Merino at this point. Um, he's bright. Isn't he? I, <laughs> he was covered in stains this morning before this lesson. And literally the baby wipes came out and the stain remover was out. And he literally just had to brush Rue. I was so jealous. I know. I love how you get him so like ready though. <laughs> this is like it's just a lesson at our yard, and you're like, yes, dude, look, perfect. <laughs> that was oh, an yeah. attempt at the flying change. Did you get it? No. And then also, I realised how tight that turn was. Yeah. And was like, oh god. <laughs> I had to, like wheel him round per pony. 
he's like doing like jump off turns for dressage lessons. But I think we're trying it again. I think I just bring him around and try it again. And he does do it the second time. Yeah, I, I, think. See, I thought he did it the first time, not the second time. I, well, I got, well, maybe that was me. I can't remember. Look how soft he is in that trot. I know he's doing his weird head thing. <laughs> but like, he's it's getting so much easier to like soften down now. I'm so proud of him. Yeah. But um, I think I think he does get this time. Rue is so chill just watching him. Look, Rue's got Rue's a three wheeler. He's got <laughs> one front leg and two back legs. <laughs> does he get this time? Hey. Yeah, that was so over dramatic. He I really know, lost I love himself that. for it. He did, but he doesn't really. He's not really at the point yet where he can like really sit back and like bounce over it. Like he has yeah. to really go full speed ahead and like get the impulsion over it. It's because not something you really practice a lot. So. Yeah, because I. I didn't think he could do flying changes. None, neither of us thought our ponies could do flying changes before this lesson, which was a. Did you not know Marino could? No, I didn't know. I thought he wasn't. He wasn't trained to do it. Well, I well, I had a lot of faith that Marino could do it. I had not. God love him. We Rue are gonna be so cute. <laughs> I didn't have any faith that Rue could do it because Rue's like a kid's pony, and like obviously I'm not a kid, but like he's just sort of like a wee show jumper. He was like kind of like real round jump offs and all. So <laughs> there was like do a flying change. I'm like he can't, and then he just he just did it. Is this did he do it in this one? He did. He did it. Oh, I was so proud that I stopped cantering and like everyone cheered me. <laughs> <laughs> I was like I still can't believe he did it. Like I'm still buzzing. I don't know if I kept the audio in. This point was so embarrassing. This um, lady in the blue coat, <laughs> she came in uh, because we had told her we were trying to do flying changes and Marino just wouldn't. As soon as she came in to watch, yeah. he was like, no. Did he do it this time around? I think I think this is what he does. I really hope he does. I was so embarrassed. Because he, he did do it the first time. No, he doesn't do it that time. That time. Yeah, and then he zooms off. That's when the horse started being lunged and he locked on to it instead of paying attention to me. Yeah, what was his plan? Was it just to charge out of the arena and stand and yeah. watch this guy get lunged? <laughs> yeah, I think it reared or something. He was like, yep, that's what I want to do. <laughs> get me over there. It's a party over there. <laughs> I had it down the way as well and he also didn't do it. But that time he tried to take off and I half halted him and then he lost the impulsion completely and like couldn't get mm. the oomph. <laughs> but then Clara was like, just keep trying it, he's going to do it. Did yeah, he do she it kept saying keep trying, I think she wanted you to try without the pole. There we go. Yeah, he did it that time. Um, That time was much better. Like, we need to work on this. We need to get our flying changes better. We're trying to do a figure of eight and he doesn't do it this time. He couldn't do it down the way for some reason. Is the other leg, maybe. Yeah, I think he might be weaker on that. That is, his, that is the weaker rain, is it? Oh, I right enough. Yeah, that is the weaker rain. That explains it. Here we go again. Your time to shine. Yeah, because I did it the first time, and then the second time, the clip's not here because it was a disaster. <laughs> <laughs> and he just started trotting up the poles instead. So we're trying it again, and I'm still in shock that he even did it the first time. God bless Rui. He, he was so like. <laughs> He thought he wasn't going to make that stride, and he was like, I'll just trot I know. for a bit. <laughs> no, that's the thing. He he sorts it out. He sorts out strides. I, I literally don't do anything. Look oh, no. Us. Oh, that is him being bad. That is the bad one. <laughs> <laughs> Naughty boy. <laughs> he was just, he was like, I don't know if I'm feeling it anymore. If he thinks he's not making the strides, he like, he like, and he's not going fast enough, he'll just bring himself back to trot. But see, to be fair to him, he knows what he's doing better than I do. <laughs> this is the point where Clara was trying yeah. to get you to work on your transitions. Yes, yeah, she's like, halt him, and then canter off. I was like, just <laughs> <laughs> trying to get him to wake up so he could make the make the strides and make the change. God love him. Rue was like, what do you mean? Why do I have to stop now? I know. <laughs> he act- I think he actually enjoyed that. This is the most docile Marino has ever been in this video. Yeah. His brain's just switched off. My second ever flying change. Awkward man. He's so cute. I am so proud of him. I was like, he can't do it, he can't do it. And then he just does it. <laughs> and I've never done it before either, so. He's so cute. Mario needs to take a leaf out of his book anyway. <laughs> what are we doing in this one? You can see the horse in that clip being lunged so people don't think I'm making it up. And I'm <laughs> Why just, would people? People are like, you're just a really bad rider. <laughs> <laughs> you liar. You don't even have a lunch pen. <laughs> oh my god, this was shocking. This, we were trying to canter half yeah. the circle and trot half the circle, and the turns were too tight for Marino. And, like, oh my goodness. Yeah, Mar- yeah, it was too tight for Marino, and Marie just couldn't get the concept into his head, so they both sort of failed miserably. <laughs> yeah, and then I couldn't get him back to trot together. Yes. He went disunited, and I couldn't get him back to trot. And I, his, his focus was gone, and then I think he got annoyed at himself for not being able to do the turns. Yeah. And it was just a bit of a nightmare, really, wasn't it? it yeah, it was, it was... I'm not going to do that again. Like, <laughs> maybe on a bigger circle. 
Yeah, and then he keeps <laughs> on the wrong leg. He's on he the wrong leg. He kept picking up rock. And kept, like, launching himself over the pose. He's a flying chainsaw, though. <laughs> he wouldn't do it whenever I asked him. He went there. <laughs> does it on his own accord. That's all right, Marina. Whatever floats your boat. See, that's another reason why I didn't think we could do it, because he never does it, like over a pole or anything randomly like yeah like, like half the ass like Reno would do it randomly Rue never does it randomly so I was like he just doesn't know what he's doing yeah, but apparently he does no he um I think this is did, this is the point where Claire moved it I think Claire this is might the bigger have, one yeah oh never mind no. Marino still going on one <laughs> I don't know what got in him at this point he was just so full of beans and he kept getting like really spooky in that bottom corner for some reason as well but um oh at this point she was saying to leave out those two poles yeah make it easier yeah because Marina, like, neither of them could just comprehend it with their wee brains. That was a really weird transition he just did. <laughs> yeah, because the, the point was the far pole beside Claire and me is where we were supposed to pick up the canter, wasn't it? Yeah. Over pick, the pole. Yeah. And then the opposite one where the camera is, we're supposed to pick up trot. Yeah, but it was just, I don't know, it was it was harder than it looks. It looks really easy, but it's actually yeah, a really difficult exercise. It looks exercise. so sounds easy, but it's really not. Yeah, especially whenever you have, what was that stride? Like, whenever you have a pony like Marino who just, I don't know what he does sometimes, it's not easy. Now here's Argo at it. I think Ruby's getting a bit tired at this point as well. Yeah. Because, well, not that he's, he hasn't really been doing a lot of work in the sound school lately. Because of rain and because of, like, winter. And then I love the hack as well. So, we just sort of hit a brick wall. So, we haven't been doing anything in sound school. So, this R lesson was... <laughs> it was hard on him. This is the polar opposite. I'm scared of hacking and Amy loves hacking, so she makes me go out and hack. Oh, Rui will be a happy hacker until he's about 100 years old. He loves it. <laughs> at this point, you can tell as well, I was, I couldn't stop Marino because he was spooking at that horse. So I had to keep trap. him moving instead of letting him watch and have a little nosy at you. <laughs> Look how cute he is. His wee knees when he's strong. <laughs> I just love him. <laughs> He does it better than Marino. He does it way better back. than Marino. I couldn't get him back from Cantor though. It was the only problem. Couldn't get him back on time. Yeah, my issue was going into Cantor and yours was coming back. Yeah. <laughs> is this maybe the bigger one? We're, we're oh, in yeah. the full circle. Isn't yeah. It? Oh, yeah. Um, Claire made it a lot bigger actually. Which, do you know what? seen how much we were struggling was like, these guys just can't do this. <laughs> yeah. But it wasn't even like, we were fine difficult, but the horses were like, no comprendo. Like, they just couldn't yeah, do it. They just couldn't <laughs> understand what was being asked of them. <laughs> but this one. I don't even think I'm meant to be trotting here. I think I just got distracted. It's a full canter oh. circle and then a full <laughs> trot circle, isn't oh, it? Oh, yeah, yeah. And then Rainer just thought, no, I'll just launch myself over that one. I love that when they can't reach the stride to, like, jump. Yeah, and they did a, like, like, tiny stride there. Yeah. And then, yeah, we broke again. Yeah, we were supposed to be getting five. Five oh, yeah. strides, can't they, in between. But he, um, the first few times, he was a bit messy and couldn't really... I don't think he really comprehended what I was asking because we don't do poles that often. Yeah. And we don't usually do canter poles because of how much he like takes a hold and drags me into them. So this just blew his mind. But he did do really well at the end. His canter felt really like collected and very like in control, which yeah. is really rare for him to be very never feels in control. <laughs> you can see Olivia and Brick just watching in the background now. No oh, yes. pressure. You want Lars to get your canter because he was annoying you over the pole. Oh yeah. <laughs> had to go large because he kept leaping over the pole. <laughs> but you can tell here like he's much better that was nice <laughs> <laughs> ignore that stride but we'll pretend that didn't happen it was like a one centimeter stride but he goes so much better like over the bigger ones over the bigger circle yeah like he's barely struggling well he is struggling a little bit like he's having to work but he's yeah. not finding it insanely difficult thank god oh he's so cute look at him go his wee hair blowing in the wind <laughs> I know his wee fringe he's giving you that whip swept look Look at this tail. I spent like 20 minutes grooming that before that lesson. <laughs> You're being a statue in the background. Oh, yeah, that was a nice downward transition, you know. Sometimes he doesn't come back to trot whenever you're facing a pole because he just wants to run at it. Yeah. So that was something I was a bit concerned about in case I just was going around in circles full of speed with no control. <laughs> <laughs> These poles were raised, by the way, if you can't tell. They're not raised very high, oh, obviously. Two of them are and two of them aren't. Or are they all? I think they're all raised. Are they? I that one there closest to the camera, was the it? One, the one closest to the camera is the only one that isn't raised, I think. But the other ones all have the little red yeah. razors. Razors. <laughs> Pole razors. <laughs> it's your time to shine again. Yeah, I find this really difficult because he wasn't meeting the strides. And when he doesn't meet the strides, he breaks the trot. And sometimes when he breaks the trot, he just runs away at, <laughs> at full speed. We were just discussing how we think he's trotter. <laughs> so he literally say it in a minute when he like... He breaks from counter because he didn't make strides. He just 100 mile an hour trot and his wee knees 
reaching his chin. <laughs> it really makes me laugh, though. I'm not even going to lie. I love how he did that canter over the pole, though. That was really smart of him. <laughs> <laughs> Rory's half human. We've decided mm. part bred pony, pony human. I think it's here. Really. Is it? No. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then it takes me ages to like slow him down enough to ask again, because if I ask at that speed, it'll just be the wrong leg or something. Like, he'll just get himself too worked up. <laughs> he just gets really excited, I think. They both get really excited whenever they're like working together. Yeah, and Rue does like lessons. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> he always has a lot more fun in them. And it's very boring. The fact that he gets to see Marino as well. They're in, they're stable neighbours, in case anyone doesn't know. Look that <laughs> <laughs> Oh, bless Rue. And I was supposed to be getting the same amount of strides as you. And I ended up, yeah. She was like, you might get one more, but we ended up somehow getting the same amount. Yeah, because Marino has quite like a short stride and quite a collected canter. Whereas Rue's canter is more forward. Yeah. And his, stri- his strides are probably the same size as Marino's, you know? I love that. I love that for both of them. I don't know why, it's really I strange. I don't know what one's the weird one in that scenario, but... Yeah. <laughs> well, they're not that dramatically different in size, to be fair. It's only like a hand, really. Hand a bit, yeah. Yeah, hand point one. I held up my hand there, no one could see. <laughs> <laughs> His voiceover problem. <laughs> I think we're coming to... Yeah, we're coming to the end of it now. This was, um... Rui at this point had a gassed out. He was, yeah, I'm he done. was done. <laughs> I'm done talking to the art owner to tell her <laughs> that I had a fly change. The art owner also owns. Yeah, the pony owner. <laughs> the, uh, she owns Marino and Rui because we both part loan them. So that's why we're so excited to tell her all of, it, <laughs> all of our gossip. But you can tell in this one, Marino's canter is getting so much better. No, it doesn't look it, but he felt really soft in my hand and he wasn't yeah. pulling me. Which is an issue. Yeah. And he's also bending at the start. We don't have a video, but we were doing. Oh god, that was a bit bad, wasn't it? I'm on the wrong leg. <laughs> <laughs> but at the start, we were just doing loads of like bending and walk, and it really helped them too. Like Marino, there's one. It's, it's this rain he struggles to bend on, but the walking yeah. at the start actually really benefited him. There's one where he leaps this pole. That one. Like, he took a solid stride out of that one. And then he just came straight back to it as if it never happened. And my laptop's on 1%, so I'm really hoping... Oh, no! This, this doesn't die. This is scary. Are you living life on the edge? 1%? I know. Well, this... Well, this is the last video, so you can enjoy yeah. him cantering around. I was really happy with this last one, because he was just so good. And he came back to a really nice trot there as well. Yeah. And he was I wasn't even asking him to go on the bit, and he was actually offering it. But I think that's all for our little voiceover, so enjoy this little last clip of him trotting and getting really excited at that other horse that he's seen in the distance. (laughs) So that was our little lesson this morning. For once, I'm actually filming and editing something on the same day that actually (laughs) happened, which is really rare. Um, But, like, I think that lesson really, like, made it clear that I need to let Marino wise up a bit and tell him not to run at all the poles. I need to kind of focus on me rather than getting distracted by any horse that yeah. walks past. <laughs> um, but I think w- both of us, I think, really want to work on flying changes. Yes, now I know I can do them. <laughs> Who's in trouble? <laughs> now, now that the boys have let us know that they can do flying changes, they are in for it. <laughs> That's all I'm going to do all the time now, 24 7. <laughs> we'll awesome. be going around, just change, change, yeah. change. <laughs> and they're not going to do it. They're not going to listen to us. <laughs> but I know he can. But we have video evidence that it did happen, so you just have to believe us. Because <laughs> it did. I'll just show him the video of him doing it. Like, I know you can do it. <laughs> In the stables, like, look, you just skip. <laughs> <laughs> That's the girl that is, isn't this? <laughs> yeah. But, um,. Hopefully there'll be a lot of uh, joint lessons in the future because yeah. we're literally in the same yard, like in the stable beside each other. So it's not like it's out of our way or anything and our instructor comes to us. Yeah. So I kind of want to do a cross-country lesson with you because Rue is a lot braver than Marino really and I really need a lead over some of these jumps. We don't do water, we don't do ditches. So um, we'll be using you for well, your we pony. Don't do, well, we don't do them either, but that's my choice. <laughs> not choice. I hate ditches and... He's nearly broke my nose in water before, so... Well, that's not great. I hope I don't do that. <laughs> also, another video idea I want to do, a pony swap. Yeah. I want to get on Rue really badly. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, we don't know if that's going to happen. We don't know if their owners are let let that happen. Sure but sure uh, Fingers crossed. I don't yeah. know. Keep an eye on this channel for a pony swap of me me on a 14-1 and Amy riding Rue for the first time, which could be interesting because he bucks. <laughs> But um, we hope you enjoyed. Uh, Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And I'll see you next week. 
So it wouldn't be one of my videos if my phone didn't run out of storage and the video cut off. But all you really missed was don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you next week Wait. for another- Oh! Follow my Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> At amycope underscore. I will accept you, it's private, but I'll accept Amy Amycope underscore. I will put that in the description as well so everyone can follow you. <laughs> How to get that plug in there at the very <laughs> last second. <laughs> Yeah, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you next week for another video. Bye! <laughs>